We are ready for the beach. Good morning from Prince Edward Island. Today I'm doing something very brave. Now I have been on vacation with my family, my sister, brother-in-law, mother, and my two nephews that are three and five. We've been exploring Eastern PEI. It's been amazing, but today we're taking on a new challenge. We are driving 75 minutes in the car with them to go to Cavendish Beach. You don't have to drive in the car with them. You can take your own car. They are driving for 75 minutes and then we are going to this beach. It's supposed to be the most beautiful beach in PEI. So I'm really looking forward to this day. I really hope that car ride goes well. Where are we going today? Cavendish. What are we going to do there? Um, go on the beach. Yes, we are. What else? There's no crabs there. There are no crabs there, that's right safe beach, we're gonna have fun. Just like that beach right there. We're not there yet, are you guys excited to go? Yeah. Yeah, yeah where are we going, Sawyer? We're going to the beach. Yeah. We're gonna go to Cavendish? Yeah. yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. And we're gonna be good in the car, right? It's a bit of a long drive, but we can do it. Done. We made it to Cavendish Beach. It's part of the National Park, so there is an entry fee that does go to um, preserving the National Park. I believe it was $8.75 or $8.50, so not bad. Kids are free. Has lots of facilities, including a canteen, although we've brought a lot of food just because hot dogs and hamburgers are great, but we've had a lot of them. So we've got some sandwiches, some watermelons, some strawberries. We are ready for the beach. You need to take a picture by the Cavendish sign and you're gonna head down this bridge. It's 11 o'clock. The beach opened up at 10, the weather is great, but already a lot of people here. So I would suggest getting here early if you want to have a good parking spot. We got one right by all the facilities, which is great, but I can already see it's filled up in the 20 minutes that we've been here. In a hole? No. What are you making? Oh, okay. So Cavendish Beach is part of the National Park here, and there are a lot of other things that you can do as well. There's a campground here. Uh, they've got hiking, biking trails. I've seen a lot of people here on bikes. PEI is actually fantastic for biking because it's pretty flat and it's also pretty small. Now, my brother-in-law used to come to Cavendish Beach uh, with his family growing up and he has such fond memories and that's why we came here today. And part of that is getting buried in sand.
right, so today I learned that there is no such thing as a beach day when you've got small kids. It's beach half day. They're already bored after a couple of hours. Thankfully, we are in Cavendish. There's lots of things to do here. We're in the boardwalk area, which has food, ice cream. It sounds like they might have a couple of rides and lots of shopping. First up, we're gonna have some ice cream. When you come to PEI, you need to try cow's ice cream. They're a dairy company that's local, make fantastic butter, but also are really well known for their ice cream. What are you getting? What kind are you getting? Chocolate Oreo. Chocolate Oreo. Cow's ice cream has all of the traditional flavors you love and then local unique ones like Prince Edward Island Apple Crisp, Canadian Maple, and PEI Blueberry. It's really good, but it's also not cheap. The smallest ice cream was $5.50 and my mom and I split a sundae for $7.50. But hey, it's vacation. We got it at the right time. Look at this line going all the way out the door. Whoa. Cavendish is a beautiful beach on the north side of Prince Edward Island in the National Park. Although I'm not sure I could say without a doubt it is the most beautiful. The eastern side of Prince Edward Island has some great spots that were closer to our cottage. Basinhead Provincial Park is a great beach with a playground, kayaks for rent, shallow warm waters, and a lifeguard. And last year, the kids loved collecting shells outside our cottage at Morrison's Beach with its classic PEI red sands. And Georgetown West Street Beach, just five minutes away, is also uncrowded and has a playground to keep the kids busy for hours. But the nice thing about Prince Edward Island is everything is so close enough to explore, you really can't go wrong with any of them. Now after that sweet treat, the kids said they are ready to go home. A little bit of sun, beach, sand, ice cream. That's a wrap for us. After the 75 minute car ride back to Eastern Prince Edward Island, the kids freshened up and we were ready for the nightly treat of campfire and s'mores. And of course, a little tea ball too. And that was a great day on Prince Edward Island.